It's time now for Kara's Cures, and it is day six of our spring detox, our cleanse. Yeah, last week we talked to you about the cleanse and how properly to do it and why it can be helpful. So this week we are checking in to see how we're doing with Dr. Artemis Morris. She is guiding us through this process. This is a doctor-supervised detox. Welcome, Dr. Artemis. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. And Kara, you look fabulous. Um, I hope you enjoyed the cleanse. You had some wonderful things to add and our group was fantastic. So yeah, really I, glad we did this. I am, I'm so glad. Let me just share. People are going to wonder, how do you feel? So I definitely am sleeping better. Um, I've lost about three pounds. We've only been doing this for six days. So where I think is I just feel really healthy. I'm not exactly I mean, six days, so there's more to do. And I think I will stay, because this is a diet that you can do with just really healthy whole foods, I plan to keep doing it a little bit longer. So is that a good idea? Should I keep eating? This is yeah. safe to keep eating this way, right? We're not depriving uh ourselves. Absolutely, Kara. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because it is the kind of thing where you could do it long term safely. And that's the great thing about, you know, combining the Mediterranean diet with an elimination diet or detox diet. And so you can do it safely long term and the supplements that are recommended, the uh, physician grade supplements, you can take those shakes long term, you can continue it. And if you continue it, you're actually continuing to decrease your risk of chronic disease yeah. that the Mediterranean diet you're continuing to decrease your risk of cancer, diabetes, improve your um, chances of having a lower risk of Alzheimer's, dementia, and it also helps with your mood. So Mediterranean diet has been shown to help with moods as well. Right. I'm just going to read, if we could put that graphic back up, because it might have been hard for our viewers to see everything. I just want to, with detox, if you could maybe put it back up there. Yeah. It, so what you just said, but you can, um, we, we say Alzheimer's disease, dementia, even, you know, just getting better moods. I don't think that most people associate um, that closely. Scott was saying he was concerned about his cholesterol. And yeah, I went last week to my doctor and he said, my cholesterol is very high. If I don't get it down within six months, he's going to start putting me on medication, I guess statins or something yeah. like, can a cleanse like this help me? Absolutely. That's what I do all the time, um, Scott. So I'm here to help you. Definitely. The Mediterranean diet has been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease better than statin. So there are studies that showed that what the number needed to treat is actually better. So looking at statistically, some of the studies actually show better results with the Mediterranean diet and there's no side effects. So mm. one thing you can do is just like the extra virgin olive oil is one of the things we know does decrease inflammation. And actually there's a health claim on it in Europe. So we know it works and it's a matter of doing it well. So definitely this type of way of eating will absolutely help and I'm here for you. So we can figure that out, Scott. Um, but you, it definitely helps with moods as well. There's studies showing that because it's high in omega-3 fatty acids, it is very helpful for our brain, which is mostly fat. You know, we have fat brains, but um, this is where it helps. And the extra virgin olive oil has been shown in studies to help with Alzheimer's disease because it decreases inflammation in the brain. And that's where it also helps with anxiety and depression. And I want to show, we have a little graphic with olive oil. You're not, you really want us to get good quality extra virgin olive oil and even taking it like a supplement, like a spoonful, if you don't have time to, uh, you can just drizzle on your vegetables. But I know you've said this is important for my kids too, just to help with their focus in school. Absolutely. So if we look at what is it about the Mediterranean diet or way of eating that is so special, one of the factors, and they found this in a study in Crete, the, the guy who started the Mediterranean diet, Dr. Ansel Keys, the cohort from Crete, which is where my family's from, had the lowest rate of heart disease, all-cause cancer, and all-cause mortality. And the main difference was that they consumed a lot more olive oil. So olive oil, there's a lot of research on it. I belong to Women in Olive Oil Group. Um, it's an international organization helping <laughs> with um, olive God. oil. <laughs> And so a really good quality is so important as to be extra virgin. I do have some discount codes, you know, on one from, um, this is from Greece, uh, Leah, there's another one from Spain. Um, so there's a lot of wonderful oils to choose from. And so I've also wanted to share a discount code with your audience so that they could, it can help them to navigate it a little But There's going to be a lot more resources on my new Facebook page um, called, Mediterranean Lifestyle by Dr. Artemis. 
And that's where we're going to have a lot more resources for you and your viewers. And I've been so grateful to do this with you. So the easiest way I just want to tell people join, you can find it by just searching Kara's Cures on Facebook. And I know you're posting all that in there and then you can join your group so we can keep it going. And I love that people have been posting recipes. I've made the lentil soup. I want to get the cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's. Like I'm still living a busy life. So I am doing the on the go food. So now I'm just carrying pumpkin seeds and apricots instead of, you know, crappy protein bars. <laughs> <laughs> how quickly it gets to be easy because at first it might seem really hard but once you get like you find your right snacks and it's hard to you know hard to go back to the junk is, is, you it, found that. is it safe to say good food costs a little bit more money but it's better for you in the long run that's actually a myth so if we oh. look at the mediterranean diet it's actually a poverty diet so this is the diet that post-world war ii people were eating and it was the you know um during the war when my mom you know was in uh greece post-world war ii the, the the most expensive bread was the white bread so it was the the people's bread that had the whole grains in it that was actually cheaper so if we look at what is um if you look at cost just replacing doing some meatless mondays is replacing beans and grains with meat is going to save you money. So it doesn't have to be expensive. And one of the things that um, I'll be doing in the Facebook group is actually doing meals for under on a budget. We'll be having a lot of resources, even local restaurants. We're looking to um, to help to see because I went to one the other day in Milford and I was like, oh, my gosh, they have gluten free chips and they have hummus, which is great. So there's a lot of restaurants locally, too, yeah. that you can go to. You know, I was able to, I was nervous about the weekend because I had some plans and I just went out and I got some seafood, I got scallops and I just had it over spinach instead of over the pasta and I had berries for dessert. Like, I'm not saying you want to eat that way for the rest of your life. I do want to have dessert again, but it wasn't like I wasn't eating and I'm still, uh, you, you can still eat out even when you're detoxing, but your idea is even when we get off the more stricter diet, we can add things back in and I definitely know that I... Um, should not be eating too much gluten. I, I know that from going through this. And so I think you learn. You learn what's good for you. We're kind of out of time, but I want people to join the Kara's Cures Facebook group and your group because you're giving such great information. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you there. And it's been a pleasure to do this with you. And Scott, I've got you covered for that uh, cholesterol. Okay. We'll be chatting. We'll call later on. You've got to get it down. You're not I'll going on touch. the statin. We're going to get you better. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. <laughs> All right. For more information, you can visit DrArtemis.com. Uh, she is a doctor right here in Connecticut, and uh, she can help you. So be sure to listen, too, and you can subscribe to my Kara's Cures podcast. I go more in-depth with Dr. Artemis about all of this. And our Kara's Cures Facebook group, uh, you can learn, follow along, ask your questions. She's been great about answering them.